times in life we have goals that we really want your dream life for example you really want that ideal life you want to be healed of the narcissist you want to be free from the narcissist And you want that very badly. You want to be able to create the life that you love, design a life that you love without fear, without anxiety, without worry. Maybe some of you want to find another partner. If the narcissist that brought you here was a, was a romantic partner, right? You want to find a life partner. Um, You want to be a different parent to your children if the narcissist for you was a parent. All of those things. So I just want you to imagine those things. Sometimes we know we want those things, but there's things that come up on our way to get them. Let's say we have 90% of the things we want. Let's say we start, we're dating somebody new. We're seeing a new person who is opposite of what the narcissist was right who says what they uh mean who you know follows through on their words who is trustworthy and kind and caring who um who provides a, a stable environment so on The act of receiving, we talked about that in our last uh, coaching session. The act of receiving can be very difficult for people who have learned to become unsure of what receiving means, right? So if I'm unsure of what you're going to give me, I know you say you're going to give me, let's say, a flower, but when I accept what you give me, it turns out to be a bomb. I become weary of whatever it is that you're trying to give to me and so therefore I stop receiving. Part of building the life that we want is understanding that we will need to be vulnerable and that's what this meditation is going to be about. This meditation is about letting go of the fears that we have of what we think would happen if we were to become vulnerable with somebody again. Maybe for you, this isn't getting involved in a romantic way. Maybe it's just building a closer friendship with someone. Maybe it's um, uh, joining or, or uh, becoming a part of a church. And so we're just going to work through some of those outer layers that we put up with people. It's easy to be surface with people, isn't it? To, to connect on a surface level. Who you are, what you like, what you want what you do it's harder when you're making a commitment I'm going to you know fully be in it to win it with building my family with this church or this certain type of community or this person isn't it because the longer you walk with someone the more they know about you the more time you invest in them, the more of yourself that you show them, the more opportunities, the more ammunition, if you like to look at it that way, that they have to hurt you with, right? The truth is that there's no way to live unless it's truly free. And that means being completely open. Again, we have boundaries. Yes, of course we do. But if this person, if this group of people, if these uh, uh, leaders in your life are showing you that they can and have met these standards, they can and have honored you. And the way that you were created, they have shown, they've given you no reason to distrust them. 
it's important that you recognize the next step however however long the relationship lasts the next step of of uh deepness that you take with them is solely dependent upon you and your ability to receive what they have given you so far and be willing to be open to allowing them in another layer of who you are of revealing another layer of who you are <laughs>